What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Resident Evil Zero. Now, something I haven't tried of all the times I've played, I never clicked on Billy. Well then, Rebecca. Oh. Why don't you go and try while I wait here? I guess he just, just in case you forgot what you need to do, just click on him again, and he'll tell you. Uh, no power in the train, even though some of the rooms are lit. I'm going to let that one slide. Closing the dining cars, main automatic doors. So basically it's saying if the power ever goes out, you can turn the power back on by getting on top of the train from the ladder in the back. Uh, I'm glad all the staff is under safe supervision. Hmm... Now, it looks like there should be something back there. Are there any bullets back here? No. Well, how about over here? No, just a half-eaten meal. Excuse me, sir. Sir. Oh, leech zombies! These are the worst enemies ever implemented in Resident Evil. They take a lot of hits, they do a lot of damage, so you know what? I don't want to fight it. Who is that guy? Uh. What's going on? Who's controlling the train? Go and check out the first engine car. Listen, we gotta cooperate with each other from now on. You got that? Well, I don't... Clue in, girl. Or maybe you like being worm bait. All right. But you just remember, I will shoot you if you try anything funny. Fine. Now take these with you. If you find anything, give me a call, all right? I honestly don't know what's funnier. The fact that I beat a mini-boss by running away. The fact that Billy can do slow-motion dive shots like John Woo and kill two leeches and the rest of them run away. Or three, the man controlling the leeches controls them with opera music. Now we are in control of two human characters, one of the main aspects of this game. You use the control stick to control your character, but if you ever wanted to move your other character, you press the C stick. Oh, there you are, Billy. <laughs> Didn't know where you were. Now, pressing the X button, you can switch to your new character. And you will control them. Now, in your inventory, you can see you now have to control two people's inventory. And you can exchange items with them. Now, Billy gave us 30 handgun bullets, but I wanted to give him some, and I also want to give Rebecca his handgun. Because, believe it or not, even though they look the same, act the same, Billy's handgun is stronger. And you always want to give Rebecca the stronger one. 
You can also do specific commands in here, like have them sit still or not use ammo. And another feature, I'll go alone. pressing start. Let's regroup. You okay. can either have your other character stay or follow you. you stay here. Okay. So right now I'm going to have Billy sit here for a second while Rebecca goes and figures out what's going on. To restore the power, we need to go on the roof. And here's where I think the graphics on the GameCube... It, this just shows how awesome the graphics are sometimes on the GameCube. Check this shit out. Whoa! This looks so cool! I mean, if I were to do this, I'd probably immediately fly off the train because I don't know if anybody could really do this. I'm sure they can, I'm just not that... No, I can't stand up straight. And over here, it actually doesn't matter who you send up to fix the power, you'll always get the same scene. So, let's connect it. Now well, we turn the power back on, and Rebecca's locked in a room. Oh, goody. Well, at least we got a couple items here. A 15 more handgun bullets, a green herb, and what do we have over here? We have a shiny. What's the shiny? It's a key! Amazing! Let's go send it to Billy. Because I already knew there was a service lift here. Playing the game so many times, you just... You just learn a few things. Now, here's one of the main puzzles of the game. Sending items back and forth between your characters when they're separated. It's not particularly a good puzzle, but it... Yeah, well... Let's say it's not as tacked on as Resident Evil 5's co-op. Boom, zing, what a burn. Now, why can't we get out this door? Because there's something stuck in the keyhole. Great. Why couldn't we just use the key we just sent to Billy to try to, you know, pry it out? So, no more Rebecca. Let's play with Billy. As that heartbeat indicates, we are now in control of Billy. Hey, Rebecca, how you doing over there? We heard you fall. Did something happen? Did you slip on the train? Alright, anyway, we need to go down and get that key. Now, a lot of you might be confused as to where this service lift is. If you think about it... Uh... Geographically, I guess you could say? It would be back here. A lot of people would miss that. So, just, be, just check everywhere. And here we go. A new key means a new door to open. But that all depends. <laughs> what door does this key open? Let's check here. It should be the conductor's key. Oh, and it is very specific where you can examine. If you examine, let's say, the key itself, it'll say, there's something written on the tag. So logically, you should put together, hey, I should check the tag. So we're heading towards the conductor's room, which is all the way in the front of the train. So let's trek back through all these zombies. Hey, dude, told you I'd be back for you. And here's a little tactic, especially if you're playing hard mode to save ammo. When you knock them down with your bullets, use the knife and kill them like that. Now, because I'm playing normal mode, I won't have to do this as much because they give you just enough ammunition and supplies to get you through the game. Easy mode, I, I would suggest like shooting extra bullets, like shooting butterflies up in the air to like get the right number of ammo. Easy mode is literally too easy. They give you so much crap. Now, uh... Are there any more zombies in here? There's a couple more waking up, but I'll deal with you later. Pro tip if you're trying hard mode. Conserve all your ammo. Even if you have to take extra damage, conserve all your ammo. That knife is very powerful. This body has bite marks all over it. Thank you, Billy. And we're in. I wonder what's in that room there with all the boxes. Hmm. Maybe that's where they're hiding the infinite launcher that's in every Resident Evil game. Alright, there's a few items in here, but the one of most value is a map! 
Here is the map. There we go. We got the map of the whole train, even though it's pretty easy to navigate. And we have pressed the oh-so-shiny button, calling us with its siren's call. It's flashing us. I had to answer the call. What do we got here? Note from the conductor. It's in the driver's compartment, and my bag is always, but I need the other one. So it looks like the conductor lost the key to the front of the train in his briefcase and needs two items to open the briefcase. So yeah, idiot. And he left it in the closet in that room, but we'll be back for it. And also, those herbs you saw, we'll be back for those too. So, no worries on that. And there should be something... Huh. Well, that was weird. Won't have to worry about that for another two minutes. So, uh, yeah. We have a boss fight coming up soon. <laughs> Surprised? No, they just showed you that you're going to have a boss fight soon, so you better be prepared. In fact, they did. A room in here gives you all the supplies you need. Ooh, shiny! An ice pick. Oh, that'll be perfect. We need to get that to Rebecca immediately. And there should be... Oh, look at all the leeches. Ew. Oh. We can't get through to the other part of the train. Open up this door. And... Whoa! Supplies! Alright, um... I'm gonna leave the knife here, because I won't need it for this fight. Got some shotgun shells. Amazing. And some more handgun bullets. Now, there on the sink is a first aid spray, but we won't need that. There's a special... a special lock on that closet. Hmm, I wonder what that will be. I will let you know what that is at the end of the Let's Play. I'm not kidding, that's the time where it will become relevant right at the end. Believe it or not, you actually come back to this train all the way at the end. It's awesome. Now, on your map, you can actually see what items you have seen on the floor. If you haven't picked it up once, the map won't tell you what it is. Over there in the corner is an ink ribbon, just in case you were curious. I don't know why they give it to you. There's no typewriter up here. So there's no way to save before fighting this boss. And you'll be surprised at what this boss is. By the way, this boss will not appear unless you have the ice pick. So keep that in mind when you're rearranging your inventory. So now as we walk slowly towards our fate with a new camera angle, let's see this boss for what it is. Probably a bug. I wonder who at Capcom staff said, you know what, we have this game about evil leeches. Let's make all the bosses bugs. Here we have the Scorpion Boss. Cleverly named the Scorpion Boss. He is very easy to kill. In fact, he's so easy to kill, we need to get revenge for that chandelier in which he broke all four lights. But basically, have him walk towards you, aim down, and shoot at his head. Now, eventually, the fleshy interior of his claws will be exposed, and then he can take damage at any time. So while you're aiming for the head, you're also, quote-unquote, aiming for the claws. And it's... Oh, I'm out of shotgun ammo. Well, that was short-lived. Anyway, here you just shoot away at him. Have him get close so you can get a few extra shots, because every time you shoot him, he reels back, so... And... Oh, the music's over. That signals we won the fight. So, best boss ever. And do be careful. After you kill this boss, he throws his pincers at you, and he can still hit you on his death rattle. So, uh, let me do a little dance, waiting for him to die. And you definitely know a boss is dead when you can walk through him. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. We're going to leave the shotgun here since, well, we ran out of ammo, so we won't need the shotgun anymore. And we have another shiny. What is this? A panel opener. 
I'm sure this will become relevant later, but right now we need to go save Rebecca. The man always has to save the woman. <sighs> Kidding. Now, even if you're hurt, you want to leave these herbs here. Because Rebecca's special ability... Because she might be a Pokemon or something. Rebecca has a special ability where she can mix herbs. Billy is stupid and can't mix herbs. He can only eat them. So you want to give Rebecca those herbs to make something more potent. Make something a better healing item. So just tell Billy to suck it up and have Rebecca take the herbs. And when I say tell Billy to suck it up, I'm not meaning in that way. I mean he can take a lot of punishment. I think for every one hit Rebecca can take, Billy can take three. He is a monster. He can take so many hits. Speaking of taking hits, what's up here, man? I hope it's another green herb that I can smoke. <laughs> I was kidding. Oh, speak of the devil. Ew, there's all the leeches again. And you can't kill them. No, my bullets are ineffective. All right, fine. Actually, should I take that? Nah, I'll leave it for later. Don't worry, I will be going back to get that. Hopefully, if I remember. Another good strategy if you're playing through hard mode, and this goes back to Billy being a tank, he can take a lot of hits. Like, Rebecca can probably take, like, one hit and she's already on yellow. So have Billy, like, run into danger with a knife and get off! If you ever want zombies to get off you quicker, rotate the control stick. It works wonders for shoving these guys off. So keep that in mind if you're ever in close quarters and you need to get them off quick, just shake that control stick. Works like a charm. Hey, Rebecca, we got a sharp pointy thing for you that'll hopefully get that whatever it is out of the doorknob or the keyhole, keyhole doorknob, whatever. Now, this puzzle here, this conveyor, not conveyor belt, the lift puzzle, uh, it does go by real life logic. So if you're trying to put that panel opener in there, it won't fit. You can put a gun in there, you can put an herb in there, and she looks really bored. How long have you been up here? Like, ten minutes? You could have found a way out. Anyway, we have the ice pick, and we need to pick some ice out of the lock. There's probably no ice in there. It would have melted by now. Also, uh, some key items on the walls, like for keys and stuff, sometimes they can be really finicky. I can't tell you how many times I've done a speed run, and I've gone to unlock that door, and just because I was standing perpendicular to the door, it wouldn't unlock. I had to be standing towards the keyhole. And zombies on fire! What's worse than a zombie? Zombies being on fire! Run away, run away! Don't want to fight those guys. Oh, Billy! I'm going to call for you. Let's go! <laughs> I've got him whipped. Anyway, next time on Let's Play Resident Evil Zero, we're going to explore the rest of the train and figure out what's going on here. Hey, Billy, check me out. Check me out. I'm dancing. See you next time, guys.